MLB incorporates Negro League stats. Josh Gibson becomes career and season batting leader. Major League Baseball, MLB, has taken a historic step by incorporating the statistics of the Negro Leagues into its official records, a move that redefines many of the sport's legendary achievements. This initiative, finalized after a comprehensive three-year research project, means that the incredible performances of over 2,300 players from the Negro Leagues are now officially recognized alongside those of MLB's traditional stars. Josh Gibson, often heralded as one of the greatest baseball players of all time, now holds the title of Major League Baseball's career leader with a staggering .372 batting average, surpassing Ty Cobb's long-standing .367. Gibson's remarkable .466 average during the 1943 season with the Homestead Grays also sets a new single-season record, dethroning Hugh Duffy's .440 from 1894. Gibson's prowess doesn't stop there. He now leads in career slugging percentage .718, and ops .177, surpassing Babe Ruth's records. This landmark decision by MLB isn't just about numbers. It's a profound acknowledgement of the talent and legacy of Negro League players who, due to racial segregation, were denied the opportunity to compete in the major leagues during their prime. Baseball commissioner Rob Manfred emphasized that this integration of statistics is essential for future generations to appreciate the full history of baseball and understand the path to Jackie Robinson's historic breaking of the color barrier in 1947. The recognition of the Negro Leagues as major leagues is a significant correction of a long-standing oversight. In 1969, a special committee had acknowledged six major leagues dating back to 1876 but excluded the Negro Leagues. This exclusion was primarily based on misconceptions about the structure and scheduling of Negro League games. However, in December 2020, MLB announced the incorporation of the Negro Leagues, led by historian John Thorne and a dedicated committee of experts and statisticians. One of the pivotal reasons for this decision was the realization that the shortened 60-game season of 2020 due to the pandemic mirrored the shorter seasons of the Negro Leagues. This prompted a re-evaluation of the legitimacy of Negro League statistics under the MLB umbrella. The updated MLB database will soon be available to the public providing a comprehensive view of these newly integrated records. Notably, this will be highlighted during a tribute game between the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Francisco Giants at Rickwood Field, a historic Negro League ballpark. The standards for season leaders in the Negro Leagues now align with those of MLB, ensuring fair comparison across all eras. For instance, Gibson's .974 slugging percentage in 1937 now stands as the season record, surpassing Barry Bonds' .863 in 2001. Gibson's ops records also outshine Bonds, with Gibson's 1.474 in 1937 and 1.435 in 1943 now leading the charts. This integration also impacts other legends of the game. Willie Mays gained 10 additional hits from his time with the Birmingham Black Barons, bringing his total to 3,293. Minnie Minoso, credited with 150 hits from his tenure with the New York Cubans, now surpasses 2,000 career hits. Jackie Robinson, known for breaking MLB's color barrier, received recognition for 49 hits with the Kansas City Monarchs, increasing his career total to 1,567. Among pitchers, Satchel Page's additional 28 wins elevate his career total to 125. The committee responsible for this integration faced numerous challenges, such as reconciling discrepancies in league statistics and identifying players accurately. The efforts of researchers like Kevin Johnson and Gary Ashwell were crucial in assembling the Seamheads Negro Leagues database, which provided a robust foundation for this project. They estimate that about 72% of Negro League's records from 1920 to 1948 are now included, with ongoing research potentially adding more in the future. While the integration of these records is a significant milestone, there are still some gains and achievements in limbo due to incomplete documentation. 
For example, Josh Gibson's four-homer game in 1938 and a home run by Willie Mays in August 1948 remain unverified due to missing box scores. The included records span various leagues, such as the First Negro National League, Eastern Colored League, and Negro American League, among others. Much of the data was sourced from newspapers that covered black communities, with more comprehensive accounts found for the 1920s compared to the 1930s, which were affected by the Great Depression. The incorporation of Negro League statistics into Major League Baseball's official records is a monumental step towards honoring the legacy of black baseball players who were unjustly excluded from the major leagues. This move not only enriches the history of the sport but also ensures that the achievements of these extraordinary athletes are celebrated and remembered alongside their MLB counterparts. Thanks for watching NY Sports News. Stay tuned for more updates.